children this week we are going to start again with our grammar chapters so today in this class i am going to tell you about pronouns in the previous classes we studied about nouns let's revise it first what are nouns noun is a name of a person place animal or thing this is known as noun now what is pronoun the words which are used in place of noun they are refer uh, referred as pronouns the example is sita is a good girl sita dances well so we, instead of using sita again and again we can use the pronoun she sita is a good girl she dances well so she is a pronoun now children there are seven different types of pronoun which we are going to discuss in short in today's class and then i am going to give you few exercise to solve it and to fill it in your grammar books so children we were talking about pronouns first again let's revise what is pronouns pronouns they can replace a noun pro plus noun which typically means in place of or instead of a noun now children as i was talking about types of pronouns so let's see how many different types of pronouns are there personal pronouns reflexive pronouns demonstrative pronouns indefinite pronouns possessive pronouns relative pronouns reciprocal pronoun and last interrogative pronouns so let's start with the first type of pronoun which is personal pronouns a word that is used instead of a noun like i v u he she it etc these all come under personal pronouns now children when we talk about singular thing or plural thing let's see what type of personal pronouns are used for example what is it this is singular what are they this is plural it looks pretty again singular they look pretty plural so it they it they they all are pro personal pronouns but they are used in a sentence in such a way that they depict singular also as well as plural also now comes reflexive pronouns when the action done by the subject turns back upon the subject and the simple way to judge such pronouns is self or selves is added like self is added to my your him like myself yourself himself and selves is added to ourselves yourselves and themselves now look at the example i hurt myself we hurt ourselves they hurt themselves so now i think it is clear what are reflexive pronouns when self or selves is added to a word it becomes reflexive pronouns now comes demonstrative pronouns this noun stand in for a person place or thing which is being pointed 
and the examples uh, example is this, those, that, these. Again children for singulars for singulars there is different pronouns and for plural there are different demonstrative pronouns. Example this is a car that is a tree when we are talking about anything singular. So, this and that is used, but when we talk about plurals Usman can work with those these books are mine. So, when we talk about plurals instead of this and that we use these and those then comes indefinite pronouns it does not refer to a specific person or thing it refers to general person or general thing. For example, all were drowned, some are born great. So, here we are not specifying any particular person or thing, we are talking about the general person or common thing. Now, next is possessive pronoun. It refers to a specific person or thing. So, here in this pronoun the particular person or thing is being specified like ownership or some relationship is depicted. Example, this book is mine, those books are yours, the voice is hers. So, here we are talking about particular this book and those books the voice is hers. So, here we are being we are specifying particular person or thing. So, mine, yours and hers all these come under the category of possessive pronoun. Now, relative pronouns it introduces a subordinate clause and takes a noun position within it. Children you might be thinking what is subordinate clause. So, this later on we will study in the coming classes in the coming periods, but for now you only have to learn that who, which, that they all come under relative pronouns like who, whom, whose, which, that especially when it shows some noun position like people who lived there did not notice him, the prize which he received did not impress them. So, here who and which they are the relative pronouns. Now, interrogative pronouns as the name interrogative suggests children this is usually here the questions are asked. So, these pronouns are used in order to ask a question and the example is which of the boys saw him, what do you want, whatever are you doing. So, here which, what, whatever these pronouns they are used to ask question. So, all this come under interrogative pronouns. So, that is all were the different types of pronouns children. I hope you all have understood the tip pronouns as well as the different types of pronouns. Now, your homework is I will be giving you one exercise as homework and the other exercise I will give you the answers you have to just note down the answers of the exercise in your grammar book. So, that is all for today. Thank you. Have a good day.